But like, yeah. So the doll, not even the doll, the teddy bear mm. had an evil spirit and that evil spirit is Chanti. And Chanti can only be seen by the kid because the kid is the imaginary friend, right? Yeah. But then also the kid's stepmother knew that imaginary friend because also when she was five, she had the same imaginary friend. God damn. You see? So yeah. it's just that with the imaginary friend, part of it is that the imaginary friend actually wants to take the child so that the child goes into the imaginary realm. <laughs> How did we end up at the airport? Let's 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 quickly talk about that. Where, where are we starting? We... We just, you drove to the airport, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Humble. I'm so bored. Mm -hmm. I'm so bored. I don't want to lie to you. So let me tell you something. Tell me. On my way to the studio, yeah, I, I miss an off ramp. Mm -hmm. God damn, I had to go all the way to the airport. Mm. First stop, traffic officers. I'm like, God damn, God damn, God Also, you damn. got physically pulled over. Yeah. Damn. Twice. D damn. <laughs> I thought I had it worse. The first one, uh, got pulled over. Uh -huh. Cool. They're like, how are you driving? Do you know that you're going to give you a ticket? And I'm like, it's fine, Shem. You can give it to me. But one thing that you can, you need to know is that this car is failing you. Yeah. I'm a new driver. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm just trying my luck. That's all. Sharp. Uh, I negotiate my way around that because luckily they didn't give me a ticket. They, I also didn't pop out anything because the conversation was going there. Okay. And I was like, look, if you have to give me a ticket, give me a ticket because I do not have the money that you are looking for. But did they tell you why they're pulling you over? Uh, something along the lines of reckless driving because... Uh, okay. Because so that I can care nicely. But reckless driving and I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, interesting. I passed. Yeah. Went through, obviously. Mm -hmm. The second one, boom. It's a pedestrian crossing. Literally, no one is crossing. Yeah, but you got to stop. I'm like, okay, I'm <laughs> going to pass. That lady, are, come here. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop. 500 bucks. I'm like, it's fine. I'll pay it. Damn. You didn't I'll even try to fine. negotiate a lower I price? I didn't want to negotiate. I was already bored. I was getting annoyed because she wanted to make a conversation, yet she's writing a ticket for me. And I'm like, I'm so not in the mood for this ticket. Like, do your job, girl. And that's one thing that I hate about me. I, I literally get arrogant very quick. Okay. Arrogant Dester. Yeah, nah, I, I, I think I just, I only came across cops once. I think today's yeah. just nationals, metro cops just be everywhere in South Africa. My thing is, all the way from Cresta coming yeah. here, I drove nicely. No challenges whatsoever. Just when I'm about, about to get here, mm -hmm. I miss an off ramp. I'm like, God damn, I'm fetching my first ticket ever. Wow. In my language, you call that we live and learn. <laughs> we definitely live and learn. Anyway, welcome to it, ladies and gents, boys and girls. This is another episode of Dot Trends. Episode what again? Nine. Nine. Big shout Wait, out. No, episode eight. 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 Yeah, eight, eight, eight. episode eight. I can be blonde at times. <laughs> I'm just, I just need my hair to be blonde. I am your guy, your one and only boy, Denisha, the Levitator. Today, I just decided to join you guys in the memo, but you yeah. completely missed it. No, no, no. I nearly wore my black two-piece. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not going to wear black. I've been wearing black on this podcast. Uh -huh. I decided that today, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. going to wear shorts, mm -hmm. uh, my designer two-piece, a bit of jewelry in there and there, just so I can be comfortable because it was a long route coming here. Little did I know that. Young Kalel. Okay, designer. <laughs> I hear you, designer. And you are? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Real Makivara. They call me Abu Tiwama 2K. Obviously, episode 8 we are in. It is going to be a jam-packed show for you, uh, Zokal. Of course, it is going to be a jam-packed show. Unfortunately, Upik just more you. It's not going to be joining yeah, us. Yeah, she's not going to be joining us She's today. doing bigger things. She's at Cotton Fist. Cotton Fest. Cotton. Yeah, yeah. I was actually listening to YFM on my way here, and yeah, yeah they broadcasting live from there. Uh -huh. The FOMO was the getting to me. I see the FOMO driving here. It was hailing. It wasn't even raining. It was hailing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. a point where you can't even see properly. And like, Cotton Fest, or Eko Yo, Eko it's, what do they call that place? Go Newtown. Yeah. The old park station. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a a cover, so it's, it's just open. a cover. But what if it's packed? Like it's gonna be packed. It's a it's a dope event. Yeah, a I, very consistent event. So most likely, yeah, it's it's gonna get packed. But uh, I'm not feeling sorry for people that are there. I'm not there. I mean, I mean, I'm dressed for the part. I should be there because this like <laughs> a <certain> costume, you <laughs> know. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, it's, I know it's a family tradition to like have an icebreaker. Yeah, me. But I just I I want us to talk about something very personal. Okay. And that personal thing has to do with. You know, two individuals coming together yeah. to try and form a union. Okay. Not officially, but, you know, because you need to figure out if it is something that you want to officialize or... Or perhaps maybe are you with the right person? Yes. Okay, it makes sense. Let's and I've been that. seeing debates around the reasons why relationships end. Mm, mm, and for mm. the most part, a lot of people are saying it's because of the girlfriend. Yeah. In other terms, it's because of their bottom. Okay. In okay. other terms, it's because of the verse, which is definite. Yeah, it's always... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, always yeah. verses. I see where you're going, but yeah. But like, yeah. And uh, it's never the guy. Because apparently guys are like super chilled. They know how to control themselves. They know Hell how no. to control their emotions. And like, you know, girlfriends. Hell but no. I, I beg to differ on that one. Why? And I'll tell you why. I mean, we human, right? Mm-hmm. And first is first, I know that I have my own flops. So I'm not I'm not going to sit here and act all perfect yeah. and say it's all guys. It's both in in most of other instances actually. It's mm. either or actually if we being correct. Okay. It's either or all the time. Okay, let's let's let's, let's get it to a personal level now. Yeah. Base it on you. How are you in a relationship? Do you think you're the main reason why most of your relationships have failed or what's the tea? I'm trying to remember, but with uh, the last uh, relationship, I don't think uh, the fault was mine. Yeah, did the last one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it think uh, the fault was mine because the person had a lot of money. They were reckless with money. And little did they know that that was uh, the last money ever that they're going to receive from home okay, from there. Okay, don't say ever. No, for that particular time, at least for that particular period. So yeah, yeah at some point, friends were taken to Cape Town with the same money. I was offered to go to, go to Cape Town and I was like, Nah, fam, I'm good. It's either we contribute or you go with your friends with your money, but I don't want you to be saying, I, I chowed your money tomorrow. So it's either we contribute or you do as you please. It's your money at the end of the day. I can't control you. So yeah, the last relationship, I don't think it was my problem, Yeah, but I'm trying to think a relationship before that as well. I can't think of any because I was actually in a very long relationship. With the so, previous relationship. Yeah, I, can, I can't think of anyone else. How long was it? Three years. What? Yeah, that was my first and longest relationship. That's three decades. Three decades? Yeah. When, how long? <laughs> Don't you Tell know. me about one relationship where <laughs> it has lasted and you feel like, okay. But your current relationship seems to be coming along fine. Provided that you want to tap into that. But it's already on camera. You might as well tap on that. <laughs> <laughs> so my longest relationship for you. Mm-hmm. My longest relationship without breaks. The thing is, I don't breaks in between. Okay? Yeah. Breaks for what though? No, I don't have a chance to do Like your, your, your actions are just, you are, you're moving very funny. And I just want you to have time to like sit and think about your moves. Because yeah. one thing about me is that if we are going to address an issue, either I know or I don't know, but in most cases I do know. And I would be asking not because I want you to qualify what i'm thinking yeah but yeah. i just want to hear from you how honest can you be it makes sense but what are breaks for really what happens in a break when you guys are in a relationship i'm quick to end a relationship that's one thing about is me. that why your relationships are not lasting no okay yes, so man. here's a question let yes. me let me flip the coin then yeah so in most of your relationships are you saying the problem is you or the, the problem was you no no I mean, yeah, some, sure, but okay, most, okay. nah. Hey. I mean, the first person I ever broke their heart, I, I was still in high school, I remember. Yeah. Broken someone's heart? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I well, did that a lot no, before is, I got I'm, into... I'm used to getting my heart broken. It's just that I'm talking about the first heartbreak I ever gave somebody. Yeah. That was in high school, and that's because I was added to a group chat where people had to, like, introduce themselves and stuff and whatever, and mm. you send your picture. And I did that. Yeah. And people just... On the side, they decided, Lord, are they going to, you know, talk to me? Yeah. Meanwhile, I just thought to myself, why am I being added to a group chat? Because I'm in a relationship with you, dude. You know? It makes sense. And then it happens that one of the people that, you know, texted me on the side, I saw their picture in the air. 
And because, sure. I mean, like, I was still trying to find myself in my type. Yeah. And that person looked like my type. And I jumped from one person to the next. Now I'm curious. What's your type? Right now? Yeah. My type is how you think. It's how you think. How you think. Okay, right. Uh, so but features, try to, just looks try wise. Try to be tall. Just, just try to be tall. Try to be tall. Thing is, I'm always tall. So just try to be tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in my life I've only done like what three, four. Body shape. Yeah. Body shape, maybe. Well, and I get I'm, I'm trying to, you know, paint the picture. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get to know your type? Ideally speaking, I don't really have a type. Like okay. I, okay. like I said, I'm very attracted to how you think as a person. Oh, it makes sense. So but obviously, appearance-wise, I do have like people that I'm like really attracted to. Yeah. Because the first thing I look at is okay, I know that I'm attracted to how you think. Yeah. But then also, is there any sexual attraction uh, attraction there? And if it's not there, then it ends just like how I ended a two-day relationship. Not because there was no sexual attraction there, but it's because of how the person was thinking. It was just not for me. Yeah. So in my mind, as you're actually saying this, I'm thinking the Nasia's type, most likely someone who can lift you time and again. Lift me. Yeah. Like lift me when I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> like when life hits me, lift me. But yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So now that we got to talk about relationships, let's talk about one person that we actually were able to talk about on the show. Mm. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I take my words back, share. And one thing about me, I don't swallow, but I have to swallow my words now. No, I have to, because we were also convinced that, that nah, fam, there's no <laughs> way, nothing is happening. Well, fam decided to hurry <laughs> when the invitations got sent out. By the way, I'm talking about Casper Nyovest. Casper Nyovest, big shout out one time, big shout out. And we're going to break it down in, in detail, but go first. So like, yeah, I mean, the invitation went around that, you know, he's getting married to mm. his childhood sweetheart, Ulani, right? And Casper just hinted on his stories that I where else exactly. I don't even know that I'm getting married. And we took it that, ah, you know what, maybe it's just people because I'm so good at and stuff. And also the invitation was kind of questionable how it looked. True. You know? But how is it that we, we missed as such? Because most of the time, the truth lies within, you know, the all this shenanigans that, that happens on, on social media. True, true. Because that invitation got leaked. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly, yes. And it was a legit one. It's just that a lot of people had high expectations. Lord, how can an invitation look it like looks this? so cheap. For Casp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it looked cheap. For Casp. Very cheap. You know? Yeah. And also, he didn't, like, confirm that. Actually, yeah, maybe nah, or yeah, maybe there's somebody, or nah, there's nobody. Yeah, yeah. It was just a very vague stories that he kept on posting. And it was only now that it was brought to everybody's attention that he yeah. did actually get traditionally married to Ulani. Mm, mm, mm. I was telling you on our way here that one thing that I loved, right? Yeah. Is that Casper went to his roots. Mm -hmm. I looked at the video and I'm like, you know, for someone of his caliber, yeah. You know, we could expect, oh, we expected, you know, mm -hmm. glitz and glamour. Yes. But he started, you know, with your traditional ceremony kind of situation. Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful to watch. I was like, okay, fine. Plus also his son, right? And that's how things would, would be done. So I was like, ah, man, I miss this moment. When last did I get into a space and celebrate with people that are actually tying the knots? It was beautiful to watch. Uh, oh, Especially traditionally. I wanna show you. want you. to? What? Do you wanna tie the notes? Definitely not to it's one I meant. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thanks. Zulu? Ah. Closer? Ish. Thing is, yo, you know when it comes to Zulu, ne? Yeah. I've started watching my brother's keeper. Mm-hmm. And, and it's sort of it's kind of changing my perspective. Yeah. So maybe. In um, what way though? I mean, I never Is it the modern Zulu on the show or the traditional Emakaya based? Setting. What? The on the show. Yeah. On the show. Oh, no. Basically, the show is all about a household. Shabalala household. Yeah. Where's and the setting, though? The setting is like... Is it modern or... It's both modern and the rural areas. Okay. Right. No, I was, the reason I'm asking it is because I want to get you to understand the type of Zulu that you're talking about. No, yeah. yeah. Thing is, you know my issue, mm -hmm. right? Especially with that two attempts that I got of nearly being kidnapped. Yeah. And it was by... Unfortunately, they were Zulus. Yeah. You know, and that's when I was just like, you know what? I'm not. I'm ever not about to do this. Gonna, you know, 
but I kind of feel like maybe I didn't give them a fair chance. But yeah, Zulu is probably maybe, but like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, sir. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Oh, <laughs> People. <laughs> I was going to say, Kosas have an X. And in my culture, X means chop. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> I, I, I choose Kosas anytime. Okay, well... I do that anytime. How are we talking about my types? We were talking about Casper. And also, they were singing Dibina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what is one of the songs? I mean, you're, you are Tswana. You should know one of them. Let's refer to the video. I'll tell you if I know the song. Uh, it's gonna uh, be something like... Eh, uh, man, I'm trying to remember. It's definitely not Fiela Fiela. Nah, it's not. It's not. It's not Makoti. Yeah, uh, it's not that as well. Uh, God damn. How uh, can uh, I forget? Zeri zeri I think it was that one. And it's in Atla. Yeah, I think yeah, that's the song. And like Grinch. I tend to be corrected. Zeri or Simo Tweri. That's not like um, um tatile. Yeah. So, the radio did it right. It's a man. Okay, and you know what? Mm. I just want to say from the videos, beautiful. True, true. Ulani, oh, she is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Oh, she's stunning. I mean, such a pretty girl. The fact that it's a childhood friend, why did this not happen, you know? Quicker than expected. Or why did he had to go around really? And leave such a pretty woman and later come back to her. Well, it is a global phenomenon that you gotta go and kiss. This Frogs. Is, no, this is a figure of speech. <laughs> no, it is. No, 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 no. I've heard you on this show saying you have to kiss frogs in order to but get I, the right I, person. I, I didn't say that now, but I'm just the saying context. it's a figure of speech. All I'm just saying is that yeah. before you get that person, if you're lucky enough, you can like date and get married. Yeah. You know, without having to date other people. But like we're talking right now, Breakups happen. And Very true. between myself and you, we've had multiple breakups. Yeah. You know? So I guess it's only only time will tell. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, then that's still fine. That's just where I am. I'm true. not really chasing marriage. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, then amazing. You're good. Amazing. Yeah. I, also, for me, I'm like, okay, I'm not really in a rush either. Mm-hmm. I think for me, there are so many things that I still want to achieve as an individual before deciding that I want to get married. So where I am now, I'm good, but we're happy for Casper. Big shout out, big I'm shout out, absolutely big shout happy out, big for shout out. Ca- I'm not saying I don't want to get married. I mean, I do. Nah, it's just, that money I could have, you know, contributed towards buying Lamborghini. Uh-uh. No, but then Luana, why do you have to think about money when you get married? Uh, marriage, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. First of all, I don't think I want a simple... A simple wedding. It has to be dramatic. And drama is a lot of money for me. So okay. rather I save that money for a sports car. So say you get married and then you, you know, I think this is how my wedding is going to go. Yeah. Like it's going to be a, a full on program. And on those programs, I'm going to have entertainers. Like entertainers. Ah, you know? So pay entertainers to come perform. Of course. Okay, I'm Look, not about... Look, it's home affairs or we live it. Nah. Fam, I told you, I don't do things how people do them. If you think a relationship is supposed to be like this because other people are doing it like this, then yeah. good for you. If it works for you, then great. For me personally, I choose to do things my way. So you want performers? What else do you want? Yeah, I want performers and I want to stick on that performers part because one of the performers that I would actually bring is Sheba Shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Shit, I went a twerker. Yeah. <laughs> so shit, I went a man twerker actually pulled a gun out. Yeah. On a performance that he was doing. Okay, right. That's deep. So he pulled a gun yeah. to who? Oh, uh, it was just an act. He was performing and he had a backpack. Yeah. Don't really know what the altercation was there, but he took, he pulled out the gun from the backpack. But my thing is, he's always fighting. And there are so many videos now on the net where he's basically fighting, 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 fighting. What's popping? I should be asking you the question. Like, I'm not understanding the guy, honestly speaking. And I don't think also, you know, anything and everything has to be sorted out with, with a fight. Like, there are so many videos, whether you are a fan, like, if you literally stepping on his toe, he's definitely going to show you flames. But my thing is, why does it to have... I mean, why does it to, why does it have to always uh, resort to fighting? Yeah, so I'm very, very anti-violence, you know? Yeah. And also, even if the gun is licensed, if I get a you gun... Don't do that. Wait, yeah. listen. If I get a gun and it's licensed, it is legally registered, right? True. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I should be 
walking around with the gun just no, anywhere it, and everywhere. It doesn't work like that because that thing within a split, split second can take someone's life. It so can. it's it's very dangerous. And you don't want to be perceived like that as an artist. I mean, this guy, you know, has all the numbers to himself. He should be taking advantage and taking and making money. And I know that he's making a lot of money, but you know, just throw your attention somewhere, man. Instead of always and constantly fighting. It was a very wise woman by the name of Riri. Yeah. Rihanna. What did she say? She said, bad guys ain't no good, but the good guys are not fun. And that's what I've been saying with Sheva Shit. You know, ever since yeah. he came into the scene, girls, guys, they're just going crazy. They go crazy, yeah. Because they appeal, sure. You know, it works for them. He's just appealing. You know, and also he has to choose. Nah. No, I'm talking about the reactions that I've seen from people okay, when okay. he came into the scene, you know. All right. And girls and guys, they even made videos, you know, you can find them on TikTok where they're all commenting about his appearance, how yeah. hot and how sexy it is, you know. And I'm not going to lie, growing up when I used to see like guys in tattoos, oh. <laughs> especially <laughs> like, it is a cost I would forget that mm, I'm a baby. Mm, like, mm, I would literally mm. forget that I'm a baby. But, you know, with age and growing up, you get to not be exposed to a lot of people. And, yeah, you know, yeah. preferences always change. But when I saw those reactions, when I saw everything that they said, it took me back to, oh, actually, I was in the same boat as them. That if I see a guy with, like, tattoos, especially if they appear on the face, I'm just like, oof. This is the one. Now Does a man have tattoos? Now, that's a man. Zero. Are you planning on getting him one or two? I know you have tats. Can we just talk about me and how I'm going to get my tats? Okay, okay. How, Mara? I love the fact that you are explaining how, you know, you've no, always you see, loved men no, with tats. The thing is, so. when it comes to tattoos, it's always about me. If you hear me talk about tattoos, I am okay. actually talking about me. Okay. Because right. I still have a long way to go as far as my tattoos go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It makes sense. It makes sense. What do you mean it makes sense? I mean, the way in which you are explaining it, I hear you. And the fact that you don't want to talk about what I want to talk about, you want to talk about yourself. <laughs> but then fine. there's zero. There's uh, nothing to talk about because there's not even a dot. Like, Stukunyana, at least the next. See? Like, next. But when is he planning to get one? Hey, but all I know is that I. But you should know. Give <laughs> No, back to celebrities, Shem. Let me not put you in a corner. No, don't put me in a corner. There's, there's no corner that you're putting me in. But like, yeah. So I, when I saw that video, in a way, I was just like, that's to be expected, you know? True. Because I'm pretty sure he has other... There was other instances where... There was one instance that they actually thought he was in a an altercation with... With who? COVID. COVID, COVID. Not the normal one. Which one? Is that one? SOP, not the normal one. Jazik. Oh, Mr. Jazik. I had to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we thought he was having an altercation with Jazik, but then later on, we actually got to see that the person that he was having an altercation with was not Jazik. Was not. The a person Jizik. sort of kind of looked like Jazik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember that was trending. You as know, well so at some point. if we have those instances happening, this one, it happened, but kind of feel like it's getting to a point where people are just like used to it. But, is but that a good we thing? shouldn't really get used to violence. That's that's complete violence because we need to remember that yes, he might be violent, and there are people that are not gonna fight back. Or he might. And be. you've literally, if someone is not fighting back and you continue to assault them, then you're in the wrong. I'm just worried about kids. Exactly my point. Especially now more than ever because they are very tech. Wise. Savvy, you know, they you know? they on the internet, they live exactly. and breathe on the internet, and they get to see all that. And one thing that we need to know, as much as I always say, uh, celebrities are not role models to me, really. They're just, you know, human beings that happen to be popular. So imagine now kids are looking up to that particular person, because as much as we're saying they're not role models, a lot of people tend to look up to them. They not. I know. I know. I so, know. Jay, how, how I'm do just, you I'm, I'm just worried about kids. That's that's all because, um, okay, I'm going to derive it a, a little bit, right? Okay, okay. I was watching a movie called Imagine. Mm -hmm. Is it Imaginary? I think it's Imaginary. Yeah. yeah. It's a horror movie. And it's all about kids having imaginary friends. I'm not sure if you had one. Okay. No, no, no. I've never. But also, don't you think that, and this goes out to adults as well. Yeah. We talk alone. Don't you? 
But that doesn't I'm necessarily I'm not saying mean. it's an imaginary friend, but I'm just saying. Talking alone definitely is. It, it happens to uh, the most of us, but that's not an imaginary friend. No, but I'm just yeah. I, I'm just trying to paint a picture for you so that you'll understand where I'm getting Got to. You. Sometimes when you talk to yourself, you ask yourself a question and then you ask you answer that question yourself, right? Yeah. So that movie, there was a baby, a child actually. She was five, I think. And the child had a teddy bear and the teddy bear was the imaginary friend and the name of the imaginary friend, I think it was Chad, Chad. Okay, Chanti. Chanti. Chanti, okay, right. right. And so Chanti. Chuck, how are Chanti? In you it? remember Chuck? Chucky. Yeah, Chucky. You remember it? Mara Chucky had two, see? I never. No. Like, no two, so I gave me. Ah, ah, yo. Just because of the little face, see? That was a lot. But anyway, continue. Nah, yeah. Chuck, Chuck is not just scary. But like, yeah. So, the doll, not even the doll, the teddy bear. Mm had an evil spirit and that evil spirit is Chanti and Chanti can only be seen by the kid because the kid is the imaginary friend, right? Yeah. But then also the kid's stepmother knew that imaginary friend because also when she was five, she had the same imaginary friend. God damn. You see? So it's just that with the imaginary friend, part of it is that the imaginary friend actually wants to take the child so that the child goes into the imaginary realm. Okay, okay. Where anything and everything that you can imagine can happen just like that, Mm. you know? But the bad thing about it is that the imaginary friend was actually trying to hurt the kid because there was a list of things that they had to do, something good, something nice, something that hurts. And on something that hurts, the kid actually put a nail on a table Mm. and her palm so that the nail can go in. So it was part of the ritual that had to be done. God damn. Right. Mm -hmm. So with that, Still going back to how I'm saying I'm worried about kids. Yeah. Kids imitate things that they see happen. True. They don't have to see it from their immediate parents or their immediate families. They watch TV. They watch movies. They watch videos. They on the phone 24-7. True. And you know, sometimes even like with us adults, if you look at an interior video and you see a sofa and you like it, you're like, I want this couch. You're going to get the couch because you saw the inspiration from somewhere. Very true. Same thing with videos. If a kid comes across this video, Abonashebeshit answer is to me. Obviously, I'm going to think this is cool and it's okay for us to do it. See what I mean? Now, he needs to do better, honestly speaking. And my thing also is that most likely he has friends in the industry. What conversations are they having, you know, when they chilling with him? He goes around on so many podcasts as well. I don't hear anyone addressing his behavior at all, at all. It's all about, you know, having shabby shit for the sake of numbers. But no one is bold enough to actually address his behavior of lately well podcast and chill we can't even you know talk about it uh he was on the el tiro podcast yeah and i expect el tiro at least you know and the conversation doesn't really have to be mean doesn't have to be you know harsh straight to the point I think it's a matter of understanding exactly but no they invite him for numbers that's all that's all they are part of the problem for that yeah so i'm um, i i want to say probably it's justifiable no, it's not. But also, I've never, like you said, I've never seen or heard that being addressed with him. Exactly my point. But he does so many interviews. Of course he does. I mean, for me, if he was to come here, Gamotor Chief, what's your plan? You do know that a lot of people are looking up to you. Like, what? No, because he's great. His music is great, you know? Uh, I guess don't, sure. Don't, don't, don't uh, give him uh, that. I guess sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> salud amang, sure. salud amang Arisheta. No, wow, he, only wow. he can do it. And Hashem, he did say also that he's not registered with your Samros. So he gets into the studio, records a, record a song, go perform it. It ends there. He doesn't have royalties. He's not expecting any royalties. He doesn't register his music with your Samros, your Capasos, and, and all that. It's just an artist who happened to be lucky. Who's making money? What do you mean? Kids? Who happens to be lucky? The artist has, I want to say, a culture, but yeah, a way of doing things, right? Uh, but by listen, not registering wait, a project, okay, continue. It's fine. Of course, you want to get into the technicalities part of it, but yes. I'm just saying, as an artist, artists are there, you know, and not everybody does the same thing. Not everybody presents the, mm-hmm. themselves the same, and not everybody brands themselves the same, you know. Absolutely. And with him. We've never seen anybody like him in the industry, have we? No, no, no. We we have never. And obviously, what 
will always get someone to pop. Obviously, it's uniqueness, right? And uh, their story as well. And we're not really disputing that. But I feel like we are all visitors. Like, I'm sorry. You li- you're going to leave your kids behind. Not you what are they like, going to eat? Don't you sound like a parent? No, no, no. I'm just saying. I mean, you need to be very smart. I mean, f- I, myself, for example, when I get to 50, I want to rest and travel the world. And I want to know that I'll be settled and I'll be eating forever. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. But then I don't want to rely on gigs only. Mm. I want to build a generational wealth. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So <laughs> he can, he can also, I mean, he is at the right time. Mm. He just needs to make sure that, you know, he's smart enough to actually sort out his stuff because obviously the songs are streamed like crazy. Yeah. So wouldn't, wouldn't be nicer that, you know, your songs are registered and the more people stream them, the more they play them on their big platforms, the more you know that I have, you know, secured at the back for like forever. You can charge money for gigs right now, but you know that for in the near future, yeah. if ever you feel like, okay, fine, I want to rest now. I can always get into a summer office. I can always, you know, call Capasso and be like, yo, can we discuss my money? I can always call some brand and be like, my money, please. You yeah. understand? Yeah. I get you. And just to wrap this up, I'm not saying kids look up to him and i'm not they saying do. i mean we, listen but also know. i'm not saying that he wants kids to look up to him but what i'm bringing to the table is that we live in a digital world where anything video picture true can literally land in your child's hands at any given at moment any second given any moment. time you can try and restrict but you know sometimes we do have bugs with the restrictions yeah, yeah. can happen and they don't have to see it from their phone but they also have friends you know i mean i know that i share a lot of videos and reels and stories and stuff with my friend you know what kind of videos like videos that are very important as well as tweets that are making waves about people that stole 1.7 million i'm interested in these videos though i mean why would you send videos to a friend because it's something relatable we can both relate to it what kind of videos are we talking about like anything and everything i mean it doesn't have to be on one social media platform it's like multiple social media platforms I mean, you know this. People send each other reels and videos all the time. You never send me videos. Be- yeah. <laughs> I said I send it to my friend. <laughs> Why are we making this difficult? Ooh, okay, let's continue. So, yeah. Um, I'm just worried about the kids. But otherwise, mm. yeah. Is he part of the Cotton f- Cotton Fest lineup? I don't think so. I don't think so. He performs in the most dangerous places. Eh? That one way now. Okay, next thing. Nah, nah, man, nah, nah. I'm not really a big fan. Yeah, we know that there's a person called Shabashit. He exists, but I'm still trying to understand him as an individual. And his behavior, it's not cutting it for me. Like, it makes it difficult for me to get to know him as an individual, as an artist, you know, because at the end of the day, we we all artists, you know, would like to see him win. and Or maybe he is winning, yes, but yes. Uh, his behavior, it's just uh, the first thing that blocks me to, you know, What's exposing myself or to him, getting to know him better as an individual before the the work that he's doing. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway, what do you want to talk about apart from Shevashet? He needs to do better. I want to talk about Nkosazana daughter. Nkosazana daughter. Yes. When you talk Nkosazana daughter, what comes to mind is Cape Town. What comes to <laughs> Cape Town as you and our wait, producer wait, wait. singing Kineilu? <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about Nkosazana Dora. Did we? We didn't. Ah, the, wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me tell you. The okay. only reference that you can use to me and our producer using Kinelwe is only a phrase, which is Kinelwe, wait, talking wanak. That's all. Can I tell you that we listened to Kinelwe when we landed in Cape Town on our way to. Uh, the the hotel from the airport and that Uber, Kinelo was most likely the second song. I'm like, okay, fine. But we I get to our place. I wasn't singing along. I remember Nkosana. You guys were singing it all the time. No, Nkosana was performing at Good Morning. She was performing that song, and I didn't sing. I sang along to all the songs, but not that song because. Not that I don't like, I do. I yeah, do, yeah, don't get me it's wrong. It's a nice song, though. It's a nice I song. I do. It's just that, Lord, it takes me back to 2005, and I'm like, I want to move on. Uh, 2005, it's, it's too early. Now, whenever I listen to it, yo. Well, I, wanna, Pella, when I, you I are, go you're, back to the, to the you're 90s. A, you're a veteran, if not a fossil. 
Yeah, a veteran. Say a veteran and and talk about accolades as well. You know, veterans have okay. done a lot. In you are a fossil because you've been alive. <laughs> you were there <laughs> on the <laughs> era when we still had dinosaurs. You know, sure, you've sure, seen sure, it all. Sure. And some of us were just born two minutes ago. You know, one thing, I, in reference. one thing I love about growth is that for me, it comes with money. So I always tell you that uh, money, if it means that I have to grow to make more money, definitely I'll do that. Because there's no moment that I miss when I was a child because all I was was broke. So... Oh I'm comfortable God. now. I'm a, I'm a fossil that is comfortable. Well, he's on hope. It's a conversation that we had like on the last episode when you spoke about financial literacy and how the reason why a lot of our people are actually struggling. And it pains me to hear you say the word broke because I never thought it would ever come out of your mouth. What do you mean? I know it was started from the bottom now we hear, but I just didn't think the bottom was somewhere? like... I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, love the word bottom. You know, mm, mm, love mm, it mm, so mm, much. Sure. What do you want to say? <laughs> anyway, you spoke about money. So, Uncle yeah. Zana's daughter bought herself a house in cash. Big shout out one time. And it's not only, you know, a house. It's a beautiful oh, it's a double thing. story yeah. house. The tongue. I, I still cringe when people say double story. What it's, What should we say? Educate like, us. I understand, Lord. Like, maybe I would expect it from like my 1980s. Educate us then. We need to catch up. Eh? Like, what, what do we call it in your generation? No, 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 no. Let's stick to double stories, you know? Because it is a double story. But yeah, it's okay. a very beautiful house. Don't get me wrong. It's... So, so, so beautiful. It proves to show that she actually worked very, very hard. Very hard. And one thing that I love about her as well, you know, sticking with the Master KG and the crew, mm -hmm. that was a beautiful move for her. Because Mkosa Zana daughter, ever since then, she's never stopped uh, doing music. Yeah. And also she became versatile, you know. Mkosa Zana daughter, when, when we were introduced to her, it was a girl that is obviously chopping I'm a piano, but working with Master KG, Master KG is someone to to explore, you know, within different types of genders. And I've seen her slowly by surely, you know, uh, doing that as well. Even your Yukineli, Yukineli give us, you know, is giving us a throwback vibe, mm -hmm. but then also there's an element of piano there and there that still makes it relevant up until today. So I love it for her. I love it for her. Smart career move. Absolutely. The one, like, I I, I will say this until I don't know when. I love Ngosana daughter. No, she's she's dope. She's amazing. And till date, like, I know I change my playlist every after four months, right? Yeah. I, I, I always make it a point that I have piano and jablise. Why why is your playlist updating after four months? Oh, because I, I'm a person I don't like to be stagnant. I'm not a tree. That's what I was taught in high school. Lahore. But four months is the no longest time. I update my playlist every day. I mean, like, Lahore, no man is a tree. So I move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my thing is I'm always listening to music. That's just me. Like twenty four seven I cannot function without music actually. Now come to think of it. I hate being in an environment where it's quiet. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather listen to people speak or I would rather let the TV play or I would always choose for music to play. It makes sense. It you know? makes sense. And I always find new releases. And sometimes with those new releases, I add them to a playlist. If my playlist gets to 45 songs, I move on to the next playlist because I've exhausted my space on that. But my thing is, why are you updating your playlist every four months? Because Especially as a radio music. DJ, as a radio broadcaster, you're exposed, you're exposed to new music all the time. You should be updated every single fucking day. Uh, hence I'm saying, I update my playlist after four months. That's the average that I was able to get. So you want to tell me that you listen to a song for... The whole entire four months. Yeah. You go into the same playlist, listen yeah, to the same if, song. If I love this song, this song is going to move on to the other playlist that I'm taking as well. Nah. For me, I update my playlist almost every day. And obviously, if Wait, I want to go back. Okay. I kind of feel like you're not getting what I'm saying. Yeah. I change playlist after every four months. So the four month period that I have, every single day, it doesn't have to be today or the next day. It can be like after three, four, five doesn't matter how many days. Yeah. I always have new music added to a playlist. Okay. And okay. when the it track list gets to 45, I know it's time for new change. And then new I change. change. Okay. It makes sense. And it then also sense. now I'm getting to a habit where I decide to not have all the genres in one playlist. Mm. I'll have all the genres in one place and then I'm a piano in its own. 
Okay, right. Playlist. Okay. Because okay. I don't dance that much, but I love log drum. No, I thought you changed your, your playlist after four months. Hence, I was about to say, okay, fine. When do you then get a chance to listen to new music? Because there's a new song every day. And we were talking about pickup lines last week. Was it yeah, last yeah. week? Yeah, it was last week, yeah. Oh, no. It's just free information. Lala log drum. That's your pickup line. Like No, I know. I know. I know. You and log drum. Log drum my feet away. It's it, It's fine. So when you start doing music as well, because I know it's it's one of your passions, are you also going to do some, <laughs> or do you specifically mm. want beats that have a log drum? Um, does new music include me being a stay-at-home boyfriend or a stay-at-home husband? You can do okay. music and stay home. That's my passion. That is my passion. What happens to performances? What happens to gigs? Yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, you, you, you grow and you get tired. I mean, today, like you said, on radio, we're celebrating our season five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big and shout out one time. It's been five years, you know? Big shout radio out. Radio only. Radio Set aside only. other things. Just radio only. Yes, that's, that's a long time. No, that's a long time. That's and a like long time. That's a long like time. Like you can't. You can't. You can't. I mean, my back, you, like every time in the morning when I have to get up, it's, 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 yo, it's a problem because my back hurts. And my thing my is, you keep on hurt. adding, adding, my head adding. Hurts. It was radio. At some point, it was music. Now there's podcasting. So clearly, you're not going to sleep anytime soon. Anyway, what's popping in the celebrity world? Yeah, so, K Naomi. K Naomi. God damn. This is what Shimza's ex girlfriend. I can't matter where to work at Shimza. No, no, I just want to make sure that we, we, we're talking about it, the same person. Yes. Oh, okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. Are we not supposed to talk about Produce Shimza? Produce a quick one. Nah. Was Ken Naomi and Lunga Shabalala? No, they Lunga ha- Shabalala was dating Tando, Tabet. Unless prior to that. Tando. Mm. But if not Shimza, there was... Wasn't there another one? Nike Bata Shimza. Because... I mean... Yes, no, Shimza. Shimza. That was, was taking place between them. I remember their breakup was... Very on social media, and there was drama there. So, are we talking about the same chick? Yes, we are talking about the same woman. The same woman. Yes, because she's a mother of two. That's why we're talking about her now. So, am I wrong by saying yes? You the are same very chick? wrong. You are very wrong. She's not a chick. She is a mother, a respectable wife, and a mother to two beautiful. Okay. Kids. Okay. All right. Let's talk about her. So, yes, she gave birth to a baby girl. She's a beautiful chick, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Continue. the baby's also beautiful. The picture ah. that she shared on social media, it was so, so, so cute. And I know that we had this conversation. We're not going to have it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it's, 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 it's very beautiful. And I'm saying this because on social media, I know there was either you or Jess or somebody else. They were like, this year, a lot of women have been announcing pregnancies. Yeah. You know? And if I'm being honest, it's a very good time to be alive because it just proves to show that we are having more life. More life, more people on earth. Yes, more life, more people on earth. People that are actually going to be doing amazing things. As long as we are planning these kids, I'm fine with that. I don't want people to to make kids for the sake of making kids. I doubt you'd ever make a mistake. Ah! Ask, ask me why. Never. There are a lot of people that find themselves in tricky situations out there. I mean, it's like saying, like, I'd be sure. But there are a lot of people that have kids and that we're not planning to have. I get that, but yeah. I'm just saying, take me. Well, your child will be planned. Of course. There's no way that you're going to do mis- a mistake when you are part of my life. I don't deal with that. Okay, that's not the reason. <laughs> <laughs> I told Okay, right. So there was Lunga Shabalala, then there was Shimza. There was Shimza and then Lunga Shabalala. Hey, now go tell her how to attend the celebrity. Huh? She's you married. said it's Tepo. Is it Tepo? No, it's not Tepo. I, I know the name. Uh, you said it's Tepo earlier <laughs> on. Did I know Tepo? Yes. Also, I was I was thinking about the baby, you know, when I said okay, that. Okay, right. Who's Tepo? Yes, Tepo Pagati. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me because. I reminded no, you. No, the thing just. is, when you say give it to me, only one person <laughs> can see that. Not you. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you me? Yes. Yes, can I hear me? So, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for her, you know. And she also has a YouTube channel yeah. where, you know, she is just taking everybody through the motherhood journey, you know, because I've got to know her during her presenting days. 
Was she a presenter? Yes, she was. You know, for me, and the reason why I called her a chick it is because for me, she strikes as an Instagram girl. So I didn't even know that she was a presenter because then if she was, yeah, no, she has my respect. She was. I love people that get into the entertainment to come here and work. Don't come here and think of that beauty is everything. We work. But you know what they say? Mm-hmm. I don't mean to be Maya Angelou or poetic or sentimental or William Shakespeare. Give me all the poets. Who else is there? Uh, I wouldn't know. But, um, but they said beauty is pain and there's beauty in everything. And what so don't does say, that mean? Don't just say, Lohari, all you can give is beauty. Do you know what people have to go through for beauty? For them. But also, that should not be a thing now that gets you all the millions. It is. You need to get your Look at your where Kylie legit. Jenner is. Look at where the Kardashians are. But they, they, they're doing something with their lives. Yes, they've, they've rearranged themselves, if I may to... Uh-uh. <laughs> we, we, no. No. <laughs> to put it that way. But it's not rearranging. They're doing, they're doing the actual work, right? For the fact that you create time to shoot a reality show, that is taking off your time. It's something that you are doing. Mm-hmm. But you can never, you know, think that you can be someone out of Instagram and you can. Or How many someones do we have on Instagram? So I just but anyway. But yeah. there's no longevity there. That's my thing. They come and go. They are a lot. Longevity or not. Moving right along. Okay. Tandiswa. Mazwa. Tandiswa. Mazwa. Ah, man. Can I big just... shout out. Big shout out. Big shout out. Big shout out. She deserves this, man. Oh, she hot, really does. Hot, hot, she, hot. she really, really hot. does. Hot. Love it, super, love it, super love hot. it. Super, super, ah, super. Man, hot. beautiful, representing us very well. Yes, so the episode is finally out. Not the episode. Yeah, the yeah. video is out. The concert video is out where she was featured on Tiny Desk. Tiny Desk, yeah, yeah. Listen, the first two minutes in, not even two, four minutes in. Yeah. And then she started singing Miza Longo Ban. Is it from the latest album or is Miza it? Longo Ban. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know the song. I know the song. No, the thing is, I know that she has uh, the latest album yeah. out, right? And I haven't really listened to it. I've been following the story closely yeah. because I also wanted to watch her the Tiny Desk performance. So I know that there's a lot, you know, happening around her. It's just that I haven't really created time to actually uh, get into the nitty gritties of everything that is happening. Do but yeah, s- give it to me. Do you smell that? The next thing you're going to say, justification, but continue. Of course, continue. you are. I know because you very well. for a person that's been alive for, yo, dude, you've been alive. Nah, but also she's not doing the type of music that I'd listen to on a Excuse random day. Excuse me. But also I recognize and acknowledge the type of music that she's doing because it's beautiful. It's not the music that I'd listen to. I would like to believe that the music that she made yeah. grew me up. For me, I love Tandi Zomazoi when she... Is it Mazoi, right? Yes. Am I right? Okay, right. I loved her when she was part of Bongo Muffin. Bongo Muffin. I think that's when I got exposed more to her. Her music career as a, as a, as a solo artist, See what I'm I've saying? been exposed to, you know, songs there and there. But, you know... Producer, but just pick one. If I say Tandi Zomazoi, name one song, what song comes into mind? What's that? Blank. Wait, nah? Exactly. And I don't blame him. Not everyone listens to Tandy Zomazoi. I mean, both of you guys have been alive. Like, I'm not getting the... But don't... two minutes. But uh, there are so many, so many superstars in South Africa. Hey, don't make it about okay, Tandy Zomazoi just, just, just quick one. Do you guys listen to Zoe? Who's that? Zoe Mdiga. Okay, right. I've, I've seen her also on social media. I don't listen to her music. Yeah, no. At least our producer knows something from I Zoe. I wish I could say at least with you. No, no, no. I'm I'm cool. There are so been. many artists that I'm exposed to that I listen to, and I'm not gonna be forced to listen to people that uh the gender is not really my thing, but continue. Yeah, but like let's not take away from the fact that the performance was breathtaking. Everyone was talking about it. I yo I don't know how many times I got goosebumps. Mm. I don't know how many times I got flashbacks, but in as much as I'm saying I don't want to go back to 2005. Yeah. When I listened to the whole performance, so many flashbacks that I had was when I was still growing up, you know, from mm-hmm. primary school. And I didn't even think I could remember how I was when I was still in kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. And crash. But I could remember I that because so many songs. 
I listened to growing up, and most of them they were by Tandy Swamazai. Probably is because uh, my family preferred listening to that music, but I'd also listen to music that our neighbors would play. You yeah, know? yeah. These liberal bands, yes, is one of them, but also some songs by when she was still part of Bongo Martin. Bongo Martin. I think that's the era that I was exposed to. I used to love their songs so much. Oh, Bongo Martin. Bongo Muffin came and did their thingy. Mm-hmm. They came and did their thingy. I mean, when you talk Bongo Muffin, woo! Crazy stuff. Look Crazy at me, stuff. Look at me taking you back to 1901. Now we can talk. But hey, hey, music career as a solo artist, yeah, I'm still checking her out. Did she perform Zabalaza? I know this. Of course. And she's celebrating, what, 20 years of Zavalaza this year, right? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. But she's been in the game then. She has actually, she's been. Those are legends. Been, those are fossils. Been in the game. Uh, those are fossils. She... Now you know who you can refer to as a fossil. No, she's not a fossil. <laughs> she's a veteran. <laughs> Wait, nah. Yeah, she's dope. She's Wait, nah. Dope. Nah, only fossil like I'm cool. She's dope. Very dope. But yeah, um, like I said, the performance was brilliant. Mm-hmm. And the first thing that came into mind is that South Africa to the world, you know? South Africa to the world. I understand that Tyler's doing absolutely amazing yeah. globally, internationally, you know? Internationally recognized. But to see Tandy Swamazwai on Time Desk. But also, have we had any other South African artist on Tiny Desk? Correct me if I'm wrong. Maseho. There has been someone. I know, but I, Mas, think of the name Maseho. I'm not saying he is, but <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Where's Maseho from? And who's Maseho? What's the name of the song? Come right, come right, please. Come right. And I doubt it's Maseho if they're not from South Africa. <laughs> Maybe it's Masigo. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Masigo. But have you ever had an artist no. from South Africa? Or was it? No, nah, I mean, Chloe Bailey is not from South Africa, is she? Yeah, nah. Come on now. How did yeah. we get there? <laughs> I, mean, I love her. Yeah. Yes. Is it also Palace. an international platform? Yeah. So there okay. you perform okay. one song. All right. All right. And then Tiny Desk performance of songs. Songs. Okay. Big shout out, man. Who do we have on is doing absolutely amazing. Uh, the new DJ, the new DJ yeah. My bandla. <laughs> So you only perform one song there? Yeah. Colors, okay. only one song. But then also, I kind of feel like the Colors version of the songs is much better than the actual version. I don't know. That's what I picked up with most of the songs that I've listened to. Because even on my playlist, I would yeah. actually have the Colors performance than the actual original. Oh, I track. need to check it out. But yeah. So with that, like I'm saying, yes, I understand Tyler's doing absolutely amazing. But to get that recognition from Tiny Desk, that is one channel that is really really big no it is it is because i've heard about it so many times right so when we actually gonna have an artist obviously taking the world stage it's really beautiful to watch especially in the times that we in you know as a country as uh, the entertainment industry it's really beautiful to watch because the more they go international the more these people will look you know deeper in in the country to see what what is it that you know it's special about us? And the more then we're gonna have a lot of artists being exposed internationally. So big shout out one time to her, you know, for representing Sauda, for making sure that you know she takes her the country to the world. Absolutely. I mean, I would really appreciate a collaboration with Anthony Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, can you just see what I'm seeing? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, but I think Anthony Hamilton will do justice. Who between Tandiswa and yes. But also, yeah, I, I think she should tap into that. I mean, she's been in the game at this point yeah, in time. Yeah, international really. collaboration would be amazing. Would be amazing. Would Absolutely be amazing. Absolutely amazing. So with that, I don't know what else you want to talk about. I think we have covered everything. We, I'm, we I'm really, trying to think. We really have covered everything. I mean, like, I hope even the people that were like, oh, no, you keep on looking at your phone. Yeah. I hope now you're convinced that I know my shit. So the, hey, when are they coming for you, hey? Dude, like last they time they came for me. for me and then they were like, oh no, you look so gay. We didn't know that you were that gay. I'm just uh, like, pretends to be shocked much. What do they want to God? What do they want? Is it because I you? raised my leg? Is it because I'm flexible and you guys are not? Yeah, your, your leg was also, you know, in the air. It's not my fault that I'm long, okay? When I looked at the, when I checked out the episodes, 
Mamela, you see, it's a it's a big screen, right? But you know that but man. it is a beautiful episode. I'm happy to know that my leg made so many people's day. And today we're actually having cold drink, and I have a message for you, right? Don't drink and drive. No, no, no! Don't drink and drive. It's a, it's a conversation like for that. another day. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'll I'll also bring my my car anymore because I want to drink me now on this platform. Shame. But I have a message for you, right? From the guest that we gonna have next week. Of course, I don't drink apple juice. She said, "I do not drink apple juice." So when I come there, make sure that you guys get your your things in order. <laughs> no, we no no. Why though? But. Just a quick one. Yeah, one yeah. from me, one from me. Two truths and one lie. Ish. Okay, okay. Go. Two truths and, and one, one lie. lie. So two things that are true and one thing that is a lie. True about me. Yes. So give me three things and out of the three, two must be true and one is a lie. And Then I you're going to guess which, which one, one is, is true. a lie. Okay, right. Um, I use a black card. Mm-hmm. Mm. I live in the heart of Joburg. Okay. Mm. God damn. Uh, I'm going to give you two, Shep. Guess how I'm between the two. Does the capital card apply? <laughs> I guess it it a it. black card. I didn't say anything. I said I use a black card. Yeah, the black card is a lie. It's a lie? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. I use a capital black card. I wait. Uh, hey, uh, 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 Naked uh, uh. black card work private, you know. Private from F and B, maybe? So so I got that right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Mine, let's see. One. I have a brother. Okay. Two. Damn. Exactly my point. No, the thing is, I'm going to feel like I, I, you know too much. Yeah, g- give I us ha- some sauce. I have a great grandmother. Three. We're listening? I'm celibate. That was easy. Which is a lie. You're not celibate. Hey, boo. Secondly, you have a great grandmother. Yeah, uh, you, might have. you Mine, might have. I want you to be sure. I gave you two, three things. Yeah, you have. Which one is a lie? Which one is a lie? Yeah. Mm, you being celibate. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gents, <laughs> boys and girls, it's been an amazing <laughs> show. Let's meet again. Same time, same place next uh, week. We did say that we're going to have an amazing guest. I'm looking forward to that Looking interview forward to that personally. interview as well. Hey. <sighs> anyway, let's get out of here. Don't forget to obviously, you know, comment, subscribe, like, share. Let's make sure that we get at this platform to, you know, greater heights because we can already see, you know, what, what it is really doing. Anyway, it's all thanks to you, trendsetters. Make sure that you tell your friends so that they can tell their friends and that Dot Trends podcast is doing absolutely amazing. Listen, we live and learn. Trendsetters, let's do yeah. it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs>